everybody, this is R.G. Long, and I write the books. Oh my goodness, what a crazy summer it has been. I hope you guys have enjoyed your summer. I know that my three girls just started school this week, so this is this is like a big uh, kind of push. The end of summer, the beginning of school, and I don't know about you guys, but when I'm in a flow of things, everything seems a little bit better than when life is absolutely crazy and, and and this summer things have been crazy i i i'm really i gotta admit i am proud of myself because this summer i was able to finish the uh the book i was working on towers of redact and and get that put out to you guys so that y'all could read that but oh my word uh just all, all of the the crazy workings that we did everything on and all of the nut the stuff that we had to do yeah, it's just been a, a lot of summer. And so I want to talk to you uh, a little bit as, as readers here just to see like what you guys and, and girls might, might think of this, uh, just so that you can be thinking these thoughts with me and maybe kind of hear a little bit of where I'm coming from as an author and, hey, maybe understand a little bit about what's going on in my world. A really uh, uh, wise friend of mine said that there need to be three seasons of your life. Uh, seasons where you walk, right? Uh, seasons where you're just kind of getting through the day. And you know what? The, there have been some of those times for me, for sure. Times where you're just walking. You know, everything is, is normal. Uh, the pace is fine, and you can sustain it. But honestly, uh, if you walk for too long, uh, you get lazy. Uh, it's just walking, and, and you can Maybe feel like you're in uh, a rut. Uh, you can feel like you are uh, not accomplishing anything. Uh, and maybe you're not really doing as much. As a reader, this would be like you purchase your books and your to-read pile grows and grows and grows. Uh, but my goodness, the you're not making any progress on it. And so maybe after a time of walking, of just kind of getting by, you decide it's time to run, right? And, and running is when you need to pick up the pace. Uh, running would be like you are starting to read through your to-read pile and you're getting into it, right? And you're, you're making progress on it. You feel good because you're, you're knocking out those books, you're, you're, you're working your way through them, and, and you're enjoying them. Uh, running could also be uh, maybe for us, I know, sometimes it feels like the school year. Oh gosh, with all the papers that come home that we're signing and homework that we're doing and things like that, running kind of feels like it's the process. And maybe the weekend comes around and you get to walk again. Uh, if those two things aren't what is required to get done, it's time to sprint, right? And my goodness, you can only sprint for so long, right? When you're sprinting, you are absolutely breaking, uh, going at a breakneck speed to accomplish everything you possibly can. Imagine reading through most of your two read pile in, in one week, uh, for whatever reason. You're just devouring books. You're reading, you're reading, you're reading. Well, you can't sprint forever. And if you sprint for too long, you're going to wear yourself out. I feel like as an author this summer, I was sprinting, uh, sprinting, trying to get things done, sprinting to try to accomplish uh, my goal of finishing book 12, and that was great, but I was also sprinting with a podcast and also sprinting with trying to figure out things to do uh, for my email uh, list, and I, I just felt like I was sprinting all the time. Well, that's why this week, uh, I'm going to try to reset my author world back to a healthy run, uh, even maybe a little bit of healthy walk. I'm trying to dial things back down a little bit. Uh, I have a, a full-time job that I love and I enjoy very much. I also have a wife who we just celebrated uh, 12 years of being married together and absolutely love her. And I have three uh, great kids. And I think I was putting my time in too many places and trying to trying to sprint in all directions. Well, you know, if you sprint for too long, 
eventually pass out <laughs> because you can't anymore. So I did a good season of sprinting and I'm trying to reevaluate on how I can best get back into a healthy rhythm, a healthy pattern of, of running, walking with the occasional sprint instead of trying to sprint all the time. I still have three books that I want to finish. Uh, I still have three books that I'm trying to get done so that I can com totally complete the Legends of Gilead series and hit my 15 book goal and I am working on that. And some of that has to be getting back into my rhythm of walking and taking things in small chunks at a time so that I can deliver good quality books to you guys, my readers. And some of that means that I've got to, to learn to say no to some things. Uh, that's a hard thing to do. So, just to let you know, that, that's what's going on in, in my world right now. Uh, I'm going to be working on walking and running so that I can be a great author, but more importantly, so I can be a fantastic husband and a really awesome dad. But before I get going, I want to make sure that I give you guys a chance to hear about the book that I will be putting into my uh, email subscriber newsletter list. <laughs> Most awkward way to say that possible. My email list. Uh, it's at the Dawn of Sorceress, a Gargoyle and Sorcerer's Tale prequel. It's written by Lisa Blackwood, or Liza Blackwood. And the beginning of it says, when an avatar to the gods wakes to a new life, he finds the female half of his soul is missing. So, uh, an interesting prequel story to a eight book, uh, plan, so it looks like planned to be nine book series by Liza Blackwood. You should go check that out. Uh, the link is in the show notes. That's something you should definitely go and see and figure out what you can do with that. Short show today. Just wanted to let you guys know, continuing to write, continuing to work but wanting to see what a better pace is going to be for me, my family, and the books. You guys are awesome, and as always, enjoy the journey.